Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous couple of sessions, I taught you clearly uh, what exactly the NVIDIA Jetson board is all about and what are the features, how do we download the image which has to be then burnt into the SD card, the micro SD card, the procedure for burning it, all those I have clearly explained you in the previous couple of sessions. Now it's time for us to go ahead and get the board up and running. Yes, it's very interesting and easy to do as well. The first step as I told you is to get the image downloaded and burn it into the micro SD card. Use the software as appropriately as I have instructed you and once it is done, you got to insert the SD card below the school zinc and there is a slot available for it. Make sure that you do it properly. So once you are done with it, 80% of the work is over. Now I am going to take you through the method which is not a headless method and hence I require a monitor, a keyboard and a mouse. So I have taken all those ready for you here and I need to connect all of them to the board. So I have got the support with the two USB 2.0 slots here and I have connected my keyboard and the mouse here and the monitor is connected through the HDMI port and the board has to be powered up. As you know and as I told you already, the board gets powered up through USB-C and I have connected a USB-C cable which is in turn connected to a power bank. So this power bank is the one which is powering up the entire board and once you connect it for the first time, you will be prompted to fill details like your uh, time zone, the country that you are in, the username and the password preferences. Just like how your Ubuntu prompts you to set it up, you will have to select all those details and it will take maybe about 10 minutes for you to set it up. And once you do that, you will be prompted for a restart and you will get the screen. And remember, I need to tell you this for sure, this is a very nice package. The board comes up with NVIDIA Jetpack SDK, which has the Linux driver package, L4 T people call it. And it has got the complete updated driver package available for you. And the Linux that comes with you is called as the Linux for Tegra which is nothing but the Ubuntu 18.04, which is a variant and it is made specifically for this board to work and they named it as Tegra. It is just Ubuntu 18.04, remember it. Now we are going to log in and I have already set the username and the password, hence I am typing it right now for you. And once I type it, I should be able to get in and I will show you the screen, I will show you the features of it quickly so that you can understand them, all of them very nicely. Stay tuned, I am going to show you that. Well, I have typed my username and the password, so I am clicking login. Immediately you get a wonderful screen out there, which is nothing but your Linux. And let's launch the terminal. I am going to launch it. And that's very cool, isn't it? So we will find out the name of the Linux. You name. Check it out because we need to see if what I said is right. You name hyphen A. You could see that Tegra. Tegra is the Linux that we are having here. And this is cool. You have got a lot more features that I need to tell you. See, we have got something for developers. This is a developer zone and we have got support forums available. We have got Jetson Zoo and there is a L4T readme uh, folder available, which has got the complete details. You can see that. Please go through this to understand the details about the L4T package that I told you. So this using is pretty easier and very similar to uh, Ubuntu. And there is something which is very, very interesting. This is called as NVIDIA Community Projects. So we have got a lot of community projects which are available here, which are um, which are given here as a connect. You can click that and you can get it connected. You can see a lot of preloaded projects available, pre-done uh, projects with resources available for you to test it out with your NVIDIA board. And you can definitely try it out. And we have got a preloaded, pre-installed Chromium web browser for you. Try it out. In case you have any questions, you can always let me know. This process is pretty easy, but make sure that you follow the instructions carefully and this could be a lovable one for you. You can try it out and you can build a lot of real-time products with it. I'm sure you will like it. And the most important thing that I like is the options that we get during the logout. So you can see that this is well designed and you've got the options for shutdown, reboot, switch, lock screen, logout and cancel. So the lock screen was pretty interesting as well. So I'm going to do that right now. And when I want to get in, this interface is cool. So I liked everything about this board and you can give it a try. And in case you have questions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much for following my channel and the content. If you have any questions, type it. I'll be answering it. If you like the channel and the content, please subscribe. Thank you.